Hey, Howie Jacobson here, staring at my camera, pretending it's you. Today I want to talk about time, focus, systems, and value. And it came about because yesterday, for the first time in too long, I printed out uh, about 300 survey results from people who have read AdWords for Dummies, got on my email list, and responded to a request to fill out a survey. And it's been a long time since I've looked at those, and I went through them this morning with a red highlighter. Just one question, the which is your, what's your biggest challenge? And I was struck over the head, over and over again, by how many people said, I don't have time. It takes too much time, I'm overwhelmed by all the information, I'm drinking from a fire hose, I'm a member of the craft club, which just stands for can't remember a thing, um, I've got two jobs, um, I've got debt, I just, I don't know what to do next, I, I'm doing everything myself, it's just me, or it's just me and an employee, and over and over again, um, iterations on that theme of there's just too much to do, and things take too much time, and everything's too complicated, and everything sounds like a good idea, but the more I learn, the farther I am from actually implementing something the farther I am from my goal. So I, um, I wrote down a few different categories. One, there's information overload. I'm just overwhelmed with all the information. Howie, you seem like a great guy. Glenn seems like a great guy. Perry seems like a great guy. But God, you guys talk a lot and I don't know what to do. Um, not enough time. I'm doing it all myself. I don't know the steps to take. I don't know the system. I just get in there. And a lot of people, when, they, when you first start doing AdWords or any sort of marketing, it definitely is a learning process. It's not like, you know, step one, step two, step three, um, and there's no reflection back. So people get frustrated there. And they're saying, I'm, I'm very unfocused and I have no resources. So given that, what, what can I do to help? Um, my first thought is to tell you to take a deep breath. There is something about, and by the way, all of those responses are my responses too to various situations in my business. It's not like I'm floating above this. I have the same issues when I'm trying to learn something, when I'm trying to start something new. Um, I can get pulled in lots of different directions. I can write entire chapters of books and then forget about them and discover them later when I'm cleaning out my hard drive. So. I'm not saying that I'm any better, um, but I do have some experience in overcoming some of these obstacles, and I do have experience specifically around online marketing with making things not so hard. And so I'd, the first thing I'd say is take a deep breath. Um, someone wrote, it's not so much about time, it's about patience. So understand that, that doing this well will take a while. And the more frantic you are, and the more desperate you are, the less likely you are to have a success. The less likely you are to hit a home run. And the more likely you are to try to rush things. So selling things to people is like a river. You can't push the river, you can't make it go any faster than it was going to go ordinarily. And you can't get people to opt in on your schedule for your reasons. They only opt in on their schedule for their reasons. So understand that there's a natural law here, and one of the natural laws is of expansion and contraction, breathing in and breathing out. Literally, taking a breath and letting it out right now will not cost you anything and may put you in a frame of mind more in concert with that law of the universe of things happening at their own pace. Now I know you also want to take massive action. You don't just want to sit there and kind of go with the flow and, and swim along in a raft. You want to do something. So I'd say the first thing you need to do is figure out what will make you happy. There are so many opportunities out there. And if you are following the same people I'm following and are in the same circles and getting the same emails, Every day or three times a day, there's some new opportunity. Hey, write a Kindle book for Amazon. Hey, do this form of SEO. Hey, do uh, JV partnerships. Hey, do this. Hey, do that. And it all looks so good. And I see the stories about people getting rich doing it and their lifestyle. And everything I see makes me want to go, oh, yeah, maybe I should do that one too. And there are things that you could do that would make you very happy and that you'd be well suited at. And there are things that even if you succeeded at would make you miserable. So the first step is to find out 
who you are, what you want to be doing. And to do that, you want to sort of map out in a year or in five years, what does my life look like? Who am I working with? What sort of work am I doing? What does my life look like? There are certain things that can allow that to happen and certain things that will, will prevent it from happening. And my recommendation is don't think about lying on the beach with a pina colada because everything promises you that. Think about what you actually want to be doing in your work. Forget about the dream of things running on autopilot. Please, just forget about it. It's not going to help you get there. But think about what could you be doing where you're so engaged in it that every day feels like fun, feels like a vacation. Here I am in my office where uh, I've spent pretty much every working day of the last five years. And I'm an extrovert. I love being around people. If you've met me at an event, I, I get energized by talking to people. And yet, I've developed a business where for a long time, it was just me by myself in a room with a computer and a telephone. And it was stultifying and lonely. And it's only been in the past year that I figured out that that was not the best use of me. So I'm building an agency with other people, with people that I meet locally, with people that I fly out to see. It's a team and it really energizes me in a way that my solo work has not. So think about what do you want to be doing, how do you want to be doing it, who do you want to be doing it with? That's the first step. And don't rush this. Don't like write down on a note card and then go on to the second step. I'll be giving you more steps, but for right now what I'd like you to do is take 90 minutes, an hour and a half, and listen to the interview I did with Alex Baisley of Big Dream Program. Um, it really helped me a lot, and if you're struggling with time, if you feel like there's no abundance of time, there's no abundance of resources, everything is tight, I want you to take the time for yourself to listen to this interview and get some of Alex's wisdom. The other thing I'd like you to do is respond to this conversation in the comments. Write something. Write where you're at. Write if you think this is, there's some wisdom here. If you're frustrated, if you've heard this a thousand times and you want something else, just um, express yourself. Let's get this conversation going because I'm really committed, having read all of these, um, these survey responses, I'm really committed to helping people get out of that situation. And I have a new focus on it that I did not have before I started going through these surveys. So let's talk about it together and we'll see how we can, we can all raise ourselves up from this time crunch to time abundance, from money crunch to money abundance, from, from a feeling of life crunch to life abundance. The last thing I said I would talk about is value. There is no income without value going out. And I know that's not true. I know there's lots of cases, but let's say for you and me, if we want to make money, we need to produce value. And the only way we can produce authentic value is by getting in touch with the authentic value that's already inside us. Forget about what else you have to learn. Forget about what other skill sets you need. What is already inside you that could come out and help the world? That's going to be the basis of whatever you do, and it's going to be the basis of whatever I do. So um, that's enough for me. Please download the MP3, listen to uh, the interview with Alex, write a comment, and let's keep this conversation going. Thanks so much for listening to this slightly long video, and have a fabulous day.